Bon dia, MTM fam. Good morning. Okay, today is a very special day. Murphy's getting his uh, first checkup with our vet, so she's awesome. She actually comes to our house quite often and, and checks on the dogs, and she's here today to continue his vaccinations and things like that, deworming, all the, all the fun stuff. Meeting, meeting his new doctor. Murphy, say hi to your, say hi to your doctor. Hi to your doctor, Murphy. Murphy. Say hello. Hi, Murphy. What do you think? Yes. Oh, good puppy. Are so good. long body yes he does a long body and short stubby legs and a tiny head <laughs> so cute <laughs> yeah he's long all right so now you guys have kind of seen a little bit of the vet visit so you know Murphy got his first set of shots which is really good so he has one more set before he's like safe to go around other dogs um, well not other dogs just like to dog parks and stuff like that um, I actually had a puppy once when I was a kid got, that got parvo, so it was that's something that they can get before they have all their immunizations, and it was so so sad. So we really, that's why Murphy can't go to the kennel or to the dog or to the dog babysitter when Samson does because he's just not fully immunized. So um, he got his shots, he handled it so well, and then Samson, on the other hand, his vet visit was a little bit rougher. He had been you know, boarded the week before. So we found out he was 80 pounds, 80.1 pounds. And we didn't get to find out how much Murphy weighs, so we're gonna weigh him right now in the video. But there were some things that were kinda sad about Samson. Um, so you guys know that he's been really struggling breathing, and it is actually called laryngeal, laryngeal, is that how you say laryngeal it? Laryngeal paralysis. Laryngeal paralysis. And um, it's just something that happens with dogs. It is a disease and it affects like their walking and their breathing and a couple other things. But you know, he is an old dog and it is starting to affect him, so it's really hard. Um, you know, we're not totally at that point that we'll have to decide what, if we're gonna have to put him down, but that is something that we're gonna have to start watching out for. We're gonna have to start watching if his breathing is so serious that it affects his quality of life and that's kind of the cue for us, she said, for when to decide to put him down. But we're not at that point yet, but it's just sad that we even know that we have to start thinking and wondering about that. Okay, so when the vet came to our house, you know she didn't have a scale to weigh Murphy. So we've got our scale out. I'm gonna weigh myself, and then I'm, we're gonna weigh me holding Murphy so we can figure out how much he weighs. Do you have any guesses? How much do you think he weighs? 11, mm, 11 pounds. JJ, how much do you think Murphy weighs? Do you think he weighs 11 pounds? He used to really like to sleep under the couch, but now he's getting a little bit too big, so he likes to kind of hide in these little corners, like over here or over there. Murph. Oh, Murph. Murph. And JJ loves to say Murph. <laughs> First up is me on the scale. Let's see. All right, now we weigh. 136, I was one pound off. You're 12 pounds. 12 pounds. Are you 12 pounds now, buddy? He's yes. getting big. Um, because of Samson's laryngeal paralysis or whatever, they said it's better for him to not to bend over to eat or drink. So we got him a little water thing and food thing that is set up above, above the ground, bowls. elevated, so that they said anything that he doesn't have to move his neck as much is good. So we got those for him. Um, Murphy has that in the house too. Murphy's running away. He's going, gonna go see if he can steal the neighbor's dog food. Um, anytime we can't find Murphy, he is at the neighbor's house eating their dog's food. So <laughs> we have to watch him carefully for that. So another thing with Samson, um, the vet is gonna order him some special medicines to see if they can help with his um, laryngeal paralysis and his nose. I don't know if you guys have ever noticed. He actually has a pink nose, but it always looks scabbed because for some reason he's really sensitive to the sun and it just scabs over a lot. So she's gonna try to put a special cream on it just because his throat, he has a hard time breathing. They wanna make sure that he can breathe clearly out of his nose too. Oh look, Murphy's running back home. There he is. He's coming back home. All right, now I'm gonna talk about potty training. 
Okay, as you guys know, Samson's outside, so he never has accidents in the house. He does have a doggy door. I don't know if we've talked about that ever before. He has a doggy door that goes into the garage, so he can come and go into the garage whenever he wants to. But as far as potty training goes for Murphy, I would say he's doing good and I don't know, some days he won't have any accidents. Like today he hasn't had any accidents in the house. He's been doing really good. He's even rang his little bell a couple times that's right there. But then sometimes he'll have like three accidents in the house in one day and I'm not sure what the difference is. I think it's mostly us not paying attention to his cues or being on top of it enough. So some days he does great and some days he doesn't do very well. But it's confusing and I don't know. But overall, I'd say he's getting better. Okay, do you want to treat Murphy? We'll show you his latest trick. Well, it's actually his only trick. Come here, sit. Look at he's so good, good sit. Okay, we'll see if he'll do his next one. Down. Oh, he's still working on this one. Down. Good job, lay down. Down, good boy. Good boy. Oh, he is a good boy. Come over here, Murphy. Come here. Come here. Good boy, sit. Sit. Good sit. That's a good puppy. Seriously, he is so stinking cute. Huh. Huh. This is Murphy's little girlfriend that lives next door and they love to play. She's a beautiful husky. Murphy loves to play with the little dog next door. Um, you know, Samson doesn't really like to wrestle and play with him like that, so it is fun for him to have a little friend that he can kind of puppy play with. So I was showing you outside how we have the elevated bowl for Samson, and we do have that elevated bowl for Murphy too, but it's just a titch too tall for him, so we do just still have the bowls on the floor like this. As soon as he gets a little bit taller, we'll be able to put it in the elevated stand. But the problem is Jensen is constantly finding the water water bowl and dumping it out or literally drinking the water. It's so funny. Okay, so I did want to show you guys a couple of the doggy products that we're using that we're liking. So I got this Rocco and Roxy stain and odor eliminator. I got that for when he has accidents and I really like that. And then here is Murphy's dog food. So we keep Samson's outside, but this one's Murphy's. And I got an OXO container for it. And it's, I really like these containers. So if you need a dog food container that like keeps the smell in because, but I do not like the smell of dog food at all. So that container keeps the smell in, but keeps the food fresh. We did also get him these little dental treats. I mean, he has a toothbrush too, but we got these for him. So they're for five to 15 pound dogs. So he's already almost too big for these. So he got these. Um, I'm gonna see if we can find what his favorite toy is. What do you think his favorite toy is right now, Bugs? Besides whatever he finds on the floor. What are you chewing on? What are you chewing on? Hey, give it, drop it, leave it. Oh, that's like a sucker stick. Oh, see, that's the fun thing about having an inside dog. They find all the treasures that the kids leave on the ground. Okay, so I was trying to think of what his favorite dog toy is right now, and I think I know what it is. So one is this little Nyla bone. It kind of like has texture on it, and there's like different levels of it. So this is the level one that they can get kind of while they're first really liking to chew on everything. And then the other thing that he really likes, I've showed before in the vlog, it is the food feeder, um, the dog toy that lets out food. It's kind of like a ball that when they bop it around, food comes out. He really likes this, it keeps him entertained for a long time. If, I, if you guys haven't seen it before, I'll show it to you right now so you can see how much he likes it. All right, so I got it all ready now and I'm gonna give it to him and he's gonna just play with it, hopefully, and show you guys how it works. Come here, Murph. He's sniffing it, he smells. He says, I know there's something good in here. <laughs> what is it? Is there something in there? Is there something in there? Get it out, get it out. <laughs> okay, so earlier in the vlog, I was kind of talking about Samson and um, his breathing, and I just, I kind of glossed over it, you know, in his vet appointment and us kind of making some decisions, more like end of life decisions for him. And I kind of glossed over it only because, um, not because it's not a big deal to us, but mostly because it is such a big deal to us that it's hard for us to talk about and think about. You know, Derek spent many nights out in the garage with Samson, like really emotional, upset about, you know, us, you know, watching how hard it is to watch his life really deteriorate. For some, sometimes for some reason, like just the other night we were laying out on the grass 
and his wheezing was just a lot, sometimes it's a lot worse at night. Yeah. The laryngeal paralysis, it just makes it hard for him to breathe. And, I, and we're not there yet. It, it's just sad to see him yeah. slowly, you yeah. know, get older and harder so, to walk. And yeah, yeah, for sure. And she said it's all connected. His walking yeah. is connected. You know, it's all part of the same type of thing. And it is just, it's just hard to watch people you love and animals you love, any of that, you know, to watch their health deteriorate. And so this is no exception to that. There are some nights where we're like, oh my gosh, is this it? It's and then he'll wake up the night. next morning and be totally fine. So the nights are a harder time for him, which is, which is rough. They say that keeping him calm and cool, you know, cause panting obviously encourages hard breathing for dogs. Just kind of keeping him calm and cool um, this summer can help just improve that as much as we can. Yeah. Cause that's the not, objective. Yeah. Keep him as comfortable as we can for yeah. as long as, as long as he can. Yep. You so, never know. He could, he could, uh, with the, with the medications that are coming with the, the joint pills that he's taking and the CBD at night, he could last another couple years. Oh my gosh. He's a I fighter. Just, my boy's just, a fighter. You saying that just made me think of, you know, on Anchorman when he's like, you never know with my level of income that's, and that's Ricky Bobby. Rick, oh, oh yeah. That's uh, Talladega, Talladega Nights. Nights. That's my what level of income. I could be a hundred years old, but no, 200, we, what do you we think? We totally botched to that. 200, 250 years old. Uh, and that was funny. That's no, what but he really could. He, no, seriously though. He, he's, I, but even like the, even like she said, the vet said, he's, he's such a happy dog and, and he wags that little tail and he's so excited to see everybody. And I mean, he has so much motivation and determination. So, he's, yeah. he's not giving, if he's, he's not, not giving up, neither are we, neither for, are we. Sure. for sure. Okay. So the fun thing was, you guys know, a few weeks ago, we were able to find a camera and get footage off of, off of it that had like a lot of, you know, like our kids' births and everything like that. It has all three, Brielle, Bodie, and yes. Amy's births. It has all their births on it. But it also has footage of of Samson when he was a puppy. Not a puppy, but more like a, a teenager dog. Yeah, I mean, a teen. He, a he's teen. around one. Yeah. So we have footage of him playing with Brielle when he was younger, and we just thought it would be really fun, even though he's not here in this video, and we're kind of talking about him in his later life to show you guys what Samson was like as a puppy, because he really was the sweetest, funnest dog, and um, so we just wanted to share that with you guys. Yeah, such a good pup. Come here. Come here. We got Samson some shoes Come to here. walk outside, and but I don't... Oh. Oopsie, I don't know what I did. It's not recording. It says it's function. Okay, there. Okay. Come here, buddy. I don't Come think on. the shoes are going to work. Come here, Sammy. <laughs> Come here. Come here. Come here, Samson. Come here, puppy. <laughs> <laughs> Good boy. Good boy. Come here. He's trying to get Salmon to go swimming. He's a big wuss. Is the water cold? Yeah, my feet are burning. Show us your new cool glasses. Ooh la la. I think I got sunglasses when we were in Mexico too and it's on yep. there. Hey Simon, go in. Real just discovered Samson. This is our first time actually playing with the little buddy. <laughs> So soft. Did you find a puppy? Oh, he's shedding all over you. Mm -hmm. Summer's almost here. Okay, all done. All done. All done with the dog. Say bye bye to the camera again. So there you have it. There's Such a, a cute pup. throwback to baby Samson. He was a cute Such puppy. A good dog. It's fun to have these videos to remember that. A, that side of him too so hope you guys enjoyed this pup date and we if you guys like these types of videos we can do it every so often to kind of let you know what the dogs are doing and you know how especially like Murphy's um, training improves and maybe how that needs to happen yeah and kind of keep you guys updated with everything that's going on with with Samson's health too so thanks for hanging out with us today be sure to like and subscribe we will see you back here tomorrow see you guys. bye